As a pastor, my years of experience have given me the privilege to travel the world and to give back. And I've so much enjoyed being able to look back over those experiences and realize that my giving could literally and did literally impact an entire neighborhood in so many positive ways. But the more and more villages I traveled to around the globe, a startling fact became clear. That while I was helping many of the world's poorest, I was overlooking some of the people that needed help the most. During many of these long walks I take down these old unpaved streets and these little rural villages that I'd visit, I began to notice something. That poor people with disabilities were invisible. Oftentimes, their only means of transportation was to crawl from place to place or be carried by a family member or friend where they needed to go. And this was difficult to see. And what hurt me the most is I had no idea what to do about it. Then one day, while visiting a rural village in Uganda, a stack of boxes caught my eye. I walked over to one, flipped open the lid, took a peek inside, and at first I wasn't sure what all the tools and parts were for, but as soon as I figured it out, I smiled, a wheelchair. And in that moment, I knew that God was listening and that he had heard me and that he had provided a simple solution to a complex question. And the wheelchair was and is so easy to put together. First, you assemble the steel frame with the tools inside. Then you set in the plastic white chair in the frame Add the two mountain bike tires, put on the adjustable footrest, then add the comfortable seat cushion, and in just under eight minutes, voila, mobility. And that day, I assembled my very first wheelchair. And I will never forget the expression of uncontainable joy on the boy's face that received it. And I knew in that instant that his life would forever be changed and that he was going to have his life set on a whole new course. Well, many years after that experience, I went to work for the organization that created these chairs. And my thought was, and one of my big learnings was, rather than try to meet every cause in the world and help every type of person, I wanted to focus on one need and one issue where I could really make a difference with my life. And over the last three and a half years, as I've been on this great team and helped our organization grow, I have come to hear and experience so many wonderful stories of life change by these new wheelchair recipients. I met a mother in India who carried her son Suresh everywhere he needed to go for the first 27 years of his life. When Suresh received his wheelchair, not only was he given freedom for the very first time, but a very real physical burden was lifted from his mother. In Ecuador, 74-year-old Beatrice lives alone in a one-room dwelling. Severe arthritis and bone deformities make it very difficult for her to walk. Well, when Beatrice was given her wheelchair, not only did it increase her comfort, but she regained her independence. Now she's able to travel to the market, to visit with her neighbors, and then also go outside to play with her grandchildren. And in Sri Lanka, Subhashini was 12 years old when she was in a bicycle accident. She broke both of her feet and lost her ability to walk. As a result, she was unable to play with her friends or go to school. And for many years, her family prayed that she would receive a wheelchair. Well, shortly after her accident, she knew that she wanted to become a teacher. But she also knew that to become a teacher, she needed to get back to school. Well, recently she was given her wheelchair, and this fall, at the age of 25, she went back to school to get her teaching credential and to fulfill her calling. Giving people with disabilities who are unable to walk the gift of mobility has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. So when I consider what redefining relevance means to me, 
It means keeping life in motion. That in order for a miracle to happen, for God to do a miracle through us, we've got to show up. Because miracles aren't one-sided. They require two people wishing similar dreams to find each other. So my encouragement to you is to go out there and make a difference. Because somewhere in the world, someone is out there that needs you to find them too. Thank you.